Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee, weather in five, five days and five minutes. And you'll notice uh, the difference out there today from yesterday over much of uh, the area from eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England in that we've got low clouds around and uh, there's a kind of a gloomy feel to the to the air in some places, uh, maybe a break or two of sun in others. And we've got some patchy light rain and drizzle that has come in from off the ocean. So it's really about the onshore flow that has set up and it's going to be with us through Wednesday. So that's going to keep uh, us in clouds. Uh, it is also going to impact uh, temperatures. And again, we could see a little bit of patchy light rain or drizzle. This is all setting the table up for the next storm system that is going to be coming out of the Rockies and the Plains and heading toward the Great Lakes. And this is going to bring uh, some uh, showery rains here, and some of those will be heavy for late Wednesday night, early Thursday, and again later Thursday uh, into Thursday night, early Friday morning. And uh, we can uh, start off to today uh, with, uh, I'm going to just show you the GFS model first. We'll kind of work our way backwards here today. But uh, we do have high pressure uh, that is sitting uh, off the coast uh, of New England near Nova Scotia. So that's really kind of created, you know, clockwise winds around highs. And you're talking about an easterly flow. Uh, the air here is not particularly dry. The fetch is over a long stretch over the Atlantic. So we have already seen some patches of light rain and drizzle that came in overnight along the coast. And we're going to probably see them today. In the meantime, there is Gulf moisture that is coming into the southeast. And this is another one of these little tropical disturbances. I don't expect this to become a tropical storm like we saw with uh, late last week in the western Gulf of Mexico where we had Olga for about six hours. But that moisture is going to be important because it is going to be drawn northward. There's a frontal boundary out to the west. And of course, this all snakes back up uh, to a uh, storm system. Uh, that is uh, coming down the second uh, system here, by the way, uh, that we're seeing uh, moving into the Rockies. And uh, they're getting another round of heavy snows uh, today, tonight, into early Wednesday in parts of Colorado. Well, that is the most important piece of this going forward. And we're going to see low pressure head up toward the Great Lakes. You can see that Gulf moisture turning up through the southeast. And then you get that stronger wave coming out with an intensifying storm by the time we get to Thursday afternoon. So we're looking at showery rains coming in Wednesday night uh, into early Thursday morning. Then there might be a bit of a break, a short break for Halloween for a few hours at least before we get into more showery rains later Thursday, Thursday night in particular. And then the front moves by for Friday morning. After that, uh, we're going to see weather conditions uh, improve as we uh, head over into uh, Friday afternoon. And the weekend is looking uh, dry and decent. Uh, temperatures are going to be on the chilly side, but nothing that we won't be able to handle. So uh, first off, just to give you an idea in terms of uh, snowfall here that's going on in the, in the central Rockies, we're talking about up to a foot of additional snow uh, from what they've already seen. And as far as uh, snowfalls further to the east, uh, we are actually seeing some two to four, two to five inch amounts that are going to come out of this um, over the next couple of days uh, throughout the uh, Great Lakes and uh, on uh, south and west uh, over into the middle Mississippi Valley. So this is, this is probably the first system of the winter that's producing, in terms of geography, a, uh, a wide area of snowfall. And the other issue, of course, is rain. And uh, this is going to be... Um, actually quite sizable in terms of the liquid rain amounts that are going to fall in the Ohio Valley, uh, down into the Tennessee Valley. Let me just get my little face out of the way here. Uh, into the Tennessee Valley, you're talking about two to three inches worth of rain, uh, a little bit less as you head toward the coastal areas of South and North Carolina into Southeastern Virginia. And then the amounts are going to pick up again as we go Northeast from there. This is all, the bulk of this is going to be from later Wednesday night through early Friday morning. And there might even be a few heavier thunderstorms in the mix. But this is going to produce another one to two inch uh, rainfall for most areas. Uh, and then after that, it looks like we're going to have dry weather conditions. So as far as the rest of today is concerned, uh, we are looking at the high temperatures that are gonna have a bit of a tough time with all the cloud cover. Uh, we're going to see highs uh, basically 
uh, in the upper 50s and lower 60s. Although when you move down into southeastern Pennsylvania, south central Pennsylvania, and into Maryland, you're looking at high temperatures more mid to upper 60s. Wednesday, we'll take it up a notch because we'll have a bit less of a wind off the water and the wind is going to start to turn more to the southeast and south. So uh, temperatures will be in the mid to upper 60s. Thursday, we'll start to get into these showery rains. We're talking about um, a warm front pushing northward. And this could set us up for some strong thunderstorms, by the way, when the front comes by. So we're looking at temperatures in the upper 60s to around 70 in most places. And then here comes the chilly air for uh, Friday. We'll be settling into the 50s uh, with the, even some uh, 40s showing up in places not too far away up into uh, Pennsylvania and up in the Catskills. And then as far as Saturday and Sunday are concerned, we're looking at high temperatures on Saturday, mostly in the low to mid 50s. And on Sunday, which is likely to be the coolest day of this stretch, uh, where we're going to be talking about highs mostly in the upper 40s to lower 50s. So this will be uh, probably it's the coldest weekend of the autumn season uh, so far. So we'll wrap it up here with Weather in 5. Download the free weather app, the meteorologist Joe Chaffee weather app, and, the Angry, and Angry Ben's weather app, the Angry Weatherman, on uh, Google Play or on the App Store. Although uh, the Angry Weatherman is only available for Android devices at the moment. Uh, we will have our YouTube live stream. I was not able to do a live stream last night, but we will have a YouTube live stream tonight at 7 o'clock Eastern time. And uh, in between, just look for website posts uh, later on today. Have a great day, everybody.